It's been a long time coming. January 21st, 1944. Killed 73 years ago. Wow. World War II. I was on the tanks, and they came, uh, I'm dead, and they came and told me that my brother was killed. And uh, during Tarawa, as far as uh, Don went, uh, three planes went down that day. When I got home, of course, naturally, it was a lot of tears. And uh, Don's plane, uh, apparently there was a, uh, a doctor from the Army Air Corps. He swam out there, brought the bodies back, and uh, insisted that they be put in boxes or makeshift coffins. My older brother and him went to Rivers High. My brother Don was in the band, and he was a terrific cornet player. <laughs> Well, my brother was, was uh, one week from getting his uh, wings, pilot wings, and him and his buddy flew under a bridge. We got a letter from the captain in, at the, that he was under there, saying they hated to, to take his license away from him but they had to, otherwise there'd be people flying under the bridge like mad. But then he, he got his navigator's license. After he finished his navigator's wings, he got his uh, bombardier wings. So he had both wings. Ready, two. Probably about, what, two months, over 23, right around there. So, uh, yeah, not, not, not that old, that's for sure. Freeze He got several medals because the, uh, the bomb was here. The bombs tangled up. So he had to climb through this hole and loosen the bombs. And he, they gave him a medal for uh, saving the life of the, the pilots and the uh, navigators. Once we started asking about Don, uh, some of the government records started to get released, declassified. It all started with them bringing up the cement in Tower, Gilbert Islands. Well, we had a call this summer uh, from a couple people from the uh, Fort Knox, I think it was. They called us to tell us that his remains have been found and they've been identified. And so with History Flight getting involved, who was actually out there in the field in Tarawa, mm -hmm. uh, five years later, we're here. You know, it's just amazing. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will, shall be no more death or mourning wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. And you know, you gotta wonder why you're put in the situations in your life, and why you're here on this earth, and sometimes there's a plan, and in this particular case, I think this was a good, this was the plan. I mean, we're finding a guy that was killed before we were born, and whoever would have thought, you know, so it's a wonderful thing, it really is. It means a lot because you're giving back something that, that was taken away from you when you were young in uh, a relationship that you can only remember, you know, and uh, he's getting all that back now and I, I think it's wonderful. When I met Joni that they had talked about they lost an uncle in World War II, you know, and, and actually if you talked about a lot of the World War II people, they never talked about the people they lost. My dad was in World War II, and they were always talking about the future, I think, you know, because they came out of the Depression, and you, you didn't hear very much about, you know, uh, uh, their needs. You know, their needs were their family, basically. And they moved on. That's why I think they call them the greatest generation. Hi. 
hard to believe this all happened. And it's wonderful that so many people would help out to work with my daughter today. We had our fights, and, but we had a very close family. It couldn't be any problem. Yeah, he was a year old. When he left home, he went to California and one of the never did return home. This is the first time he's been home to, to Michigan from the time that he left. But in all those years, I kept hoping that he would return. I had something we always wanted. I didn't think uh, I had to admit for years, I never thought he'd ever come back to Michigan again. But he made it home to Michigan. There's a lot of good people out there, people that care. And, and it's one thing you realize that there's a lot, of, a lot of people out there that care. So even 73 years later. So, so it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing, it really is.